Welcome back, Captains, to Starfleet Academy Online. I'm your host and instructor, Hale Bosey, and in this episode, we're going to be going over builds. All right, so I'm really excited to come back to you today because I know everybody's been sort of waiting for when we would dive in a little bit more into shipbuilding and ground building and all that stuff. And so I'm really excited to bring you some of this material. Now, just kind of getting started, what you need to know right up front is there is no one way to build, okay? What is best for you is inevitably going to be different from every other person that you work with. And part of the reason for that is because the, your play style is going to be different. Your career is going to be different. Your role is going to be different. Well, I mean, it might be similar to others, but for the most part, you're all going to have a unique take on what you like to do in Star Trek Online. So giving you a basic understanding of what a ship build is, I think, is going to be really important to kind of start off with. And a build can be looked at in a few different ways. Uh, first of all, when it comes to like what you're going to do is you're just going to think about what's your career spec. Like what role do you want to play? Do you want to be DPS and just do straight damage? Do you want to be like a tank and sort of go in and be like virtually unkillable? Or are you looking to do a little science magic uh, in space? You know, that, that, that could be a little bit different. And so all of those roles are different. Now, you need to know that it doesn't matter what spec or career spec you are. Theoretically, you could actually do any of these roles, virtually any of these roles, uh, with any career spec. So whatever your main is, we can talk about it and how to best do it. But if you're going to take advantage, and for this particular example, I'm going to use a tactical officer, and we're going to go over that. But first, I would like to let, get you uh, familiar with a couple of resources that I think is going to be pretty good for you to use when you're trying to figure out what a ship build could be. And the first option I'd like to show you is this one. So if you take a look at this right here, this is a what we call the Star Trek Online Skill Planner. And it's a pretty fantastic tool for anybody who's looking to try out a different build or just to see what other people are using on their builds. And if you'd like to post yours, this is a great way to do it in a very structured manner that's really easy for players to come in and read. But it, just because I don't expect you to be familiar with it, I'd like to go over overall what an actual build is so starting off with the, your faction so are you federation are you klingon are you romulan then you're going to start off are you tactical are you science or are you engineering then you're going to go into your primary specializations note okay note if you're going into specializations um it it depends on what it is that you know what i mean that you like to use the most but there are a few different specs on here, depending on what build you're doing, that are probably going to work out or, or become most effective. But you could always test that out with a DPS meter if you have one. So the first thing we're going to look at is intelligence and strategist. Those are two very, very strongly paired uh, specializations that are really good. Now make sure the primary is always going to be intelligence um, in this particular case and strategist for your secondary. Uh, another note that I'd like to make about this particular build that we're going to go over is that one, we're not going to go over all of it. I'm just going to go over what an actual build is and what all the little things that consists of that is so that we can get further into detail in, in the, the very next uh, series of videos that we're going to go through. So this is going to serve as like an overall sort of look and I wanted to do something that was affordable for new players if you're a new player to sort of jump in with and I have very special help from a good friend of mine Lant who could not be here today because of time constraints but uh, but he uh, put this together for me 
and we went over it and I think it's a really strong build just for somebody who has no money to spend in the game which I totally get and I don't want you to have to spend money to be effective and so this is a build that you can use for that now knowing what to put in the build is one thing but knowing why it works is what's going to be key to making you a better player in Star Trek Online so please pay attention not just to what I'm telling you to get or where to place things but also uh, why <laughs> we're doing it. All right, so what is a ship build? Essentially what it is is it's going to be a combination of different things that you use, whether it be your equipment, your uh, you know duty officers, whether it's going to be your skill trees and your specializations and all of that stuff in, that we're going to put together in order to maximize your damage. Now this build will do something between maybe like 75 to 100 if you really know how to fly it but but my my guess is going to be especially when you're starting out probably closer to the 75 until you really get into uh get into using this build then you could probably bring that up a smidge and i think you're really going to find it quite effective especially if you're looking to get into the advanced tfos i definitely wouldn't do elite with this build but i you could definitely do advanced and 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 be able to to do any of the tfos in advanced with something like this so the first thing you're going to be looking at is your overall skill tree and if you want to know what that looks like on your if you go to your character uh, status window and you open up skills you'll notice that's what comes up and so this is what we're actually looking at which is going to be really important overall now, coming back to it, that's what this is iterating. You're going to see the lieutenant, the lieutenant commander, commander, captain, and of course the admiralty. And anything in green here is what we've actually slotted a point in. And that's how you know which places to put your different skill tree uh, points. And this is going to, this is going to be specifically, like I said, set up for a tactical officer. When you're going to, uh, another thing you're going to be looking at is, of course, ground skills, which is great, but we're not going to be looking at that right now. Uh, so just bear with us and we'll go over ground a little bit later. But for now, let's focus on Starship. So traits. Traits are huge when it comes to uh, being effective in Star Trek Online. So when you're looking at your different traits, we've put together several of them, but there's not just... Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot more than just uh, space traits. So you're going to notice that these are the personal space traits here. These are starship traits. These are space reputation. And these are active reputation. And in this case, all the ones that are slotted are actually for space combat. So all of those different uh, traits are going to be directly used in this build to enhance your damage or effectiveness either way, whether it be for, for your tankiness, whether it be for your damage, or whether it be for your enhancement of science abilities, etc. So just taking a look at what we have slotted here, I'm going to go back. So one of the things that I think is really important or one of the tools that's really important to help you find the things that maybe you're not used to uh, playing with and wanting to know, like, well, where do I get that? What mission do I get that from? Um, if we go down here to, say, uh, you know, the four weapons, let's take a look at these uh you know, quantum phase dual heavy cannons, where do you get these? Well, one of the tools that you can use for this is actually the Star Trek Online Wiki. So if you go to stogamepedia.com, you'll be able to go to the main page, which is the STO Wiki, and up top they're going to have a search bar right here. And if you type in what it is that you're looking for, you can come up with the phase uh, quantum phase catalyst set in this case. And if you scroll down, here it is. These are the quantum phase uh, dual heavy cannons. This is one of the items that we have equipped on this particular build. And if you're looking at it, it'll give you a little description of it. And you'll note that this item is attainable from the Sunrise mission. And if you want, if you don't know what that is, that's no problem. You can go ahead and click that link there and it will tell you uh, where it comes from and how to get to it. So in this case, it's preceded by Midnight. It's followed by Stormbound. And it's all part of the Future Proof episode arc. So that's, that's very good information. It kind of lets you know where to get these things. 
And most of the stuff that we have here in this build is all going to be from story missions or other ways that you can get some free content that would actually be very effective if you put it all together. So don't sleep on the Star Trek wiki if you're looking to get something in game. Uh, otherwise, taking a look at this, uh, you know, here's all the different traits we're going to be using. Now we're going to be going up to weapons. So there's different groupings of effectiveness and uh, and, and obviously, uh, you know, equipment that you're going to be using for your ship builds. And you're going to have weapons, you're going to have a deflector, you're going to have impulse engines, you're going to have a warp core of some sort, a shield array, you're going to have aft weapons, you might have an experimental or a heavy weapon, which could be a thing, you're going to have device slots, you're going to have consoles, and there's going to be three types of consoles. So there's engineering consoles, science consoles, and then of course tactical consoles. Consoles. An important thing to note is that every ship, no matter what it is, is going to have a slightly different configuration. So some weapons, so some uh, ships might have three weapons up front and three weapons in the back. Some might have four up front and three in back. Some might have five up front and three in back. And some might have four up front and four in back, or five up front and two in back. So. It, it, it's all going to depend on the ship that you like to fly. This particular ship that we're going for, though, is the Defiant class uh, ship that you get when you're leveling your character, and you can actually upgrade that to a T5 upgrade, or T5U as it's most often called uh, in this case. So it's not quite a Tier 6 starship, but it's free, and it's something that you're going to get naturally just through the progression. And if you do it properly, when you get to the uh, to Admiralty and um, and you get the Defiant class, this is how you can build it out and still maintain that effectiveness. So yes, you can actually be effective in game without spending money, which is important to know. Although I'm not going to lie, any amount of money you spend is just going to make you more effective. It's just facts of life. Looking at the bridge officer, though, bridge officers are also going to be important, and the types of bridge officers that you get, the amount of those bridge officers. So, like, for example, you'll see here that I have three different tactical slots and stations, but then I also have an engineering station and then one science station. A lot of times you'll have maybe two tactical, and then you'll have an engineering and a science, or two engineering, two tactical, and a science, or something like that. It... It just depends on the type of build that you're trying to put together. And uh, what's important is, again, each ship is going to have different stations uh, available. And some of them are going to be ensign, lieutenant, lieutenant commander, or commander. And obviously, the more, the higher rank it is, the more abilities you're going to be able to slot in, up to four different abilities um, and bridge officer abilities that you can be using. But not only are the stations important and Further, what will break down, and here I'll show you what it looks like on, on mine, for example. Um, when you're looking at the stations, check this out for a second. Obviously, I've got uh, two tacticals, but you're going to see that these three right here are kind of grayed out. Normally, if, if it's specifically for a tactical, it's going to be red on the outside of the, uh, the Star Trek uh, little star uh, insignia there. But, but uh, if it's a yellow like this then you know it's engineering and then of course if it was blue it would be science but you'll notice that a lot of these are actually gray well what does that mean essentially it just means that they're neutral you could be anything so you can slot anything you want there and that's actually really important to know um, also what you're going to notice is that some have these little symbols right next to it what those symbols mean and what they correspond to are specific specializations that you can train your bridge officers in so whoa 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 you're telling me that I can train not only myself in specializations like we were talking about earlier with you know like intelligence miracle worker or strategist or something like that but now I can take any of my uh, you know, tactical officers or, you know, other bridge officers, and I can train them in the same types of things. So in this case, this one's trained in intelligence, miracle worker, and pilot, which gives them special bridge abilities, which I think are, are really important when you're looking at the stations as far as what uh, what abilities you're going to be able to use. So we'll go over more in depth of like what 
uh, bridge officers are, but I just wanted you to see why stations make a difference and uh, it's de the the higher rank it is, the higher level of abilities that you're going to be able to slot in, and so you're going to want to be very strategic about what you do with those. Coming back to the wiki, um, that's pretty much it. I mean, there is going to be duty officers later, which we haven't listed here because a lot of the more effective ones are going to be really hard to get a hold of for somebody that's that's new uh and but i will tell you that duty officers do have a lot to do with the ship build and so when you're working with a duty officer just understand that whatever your roster is um you can actually put them in the active space slots but remember when you're doing duty officers that they all have different abilities uh, which can enhance your space combat and so you can choose ones that you think are going to be effective for you since we haven't provided any for you but we'll go over how to take a look at that again in future videos so I think that's enough for this particular video in terms of just getting you familiar with what an actual ship build is. Um, I know it's a lot of information and trust me, we're going to dive a lot deeper into it for those of you that are chomping at the bit to really dive into the more advanced material. So don't worry, we've got lots of great content coming for you. If maybe I've missed something about ship builds, oh, you know what? I can think of something I missed right now. And that's your rotation your tr your button trays, your power levels, your um all of that stuff is also going to affect your ship build and whether or not you use key binds, which is something that we can go over in a future video as well that I'd like to show you how to do that just so that you have that available. So if you can think of anything that maybe I missed that you think is really important, please put that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you uh, have some ideas on something, let's discuss what uh, some of those ideas would be for various types of builds. I'd love to engage with you that way. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, please give us a hail Bozy and don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, we'll look forward to seeing you. Boldly go. Legends never die when the world is calling you. Can you hear them screaming out your name? Legends never die, they become a part of you.